As we kick off the new year in 2024, in this video, we are diving into a topic that can revolutionize the way that you approach Instagram, which is scheduling your posts. Absolutely, Subi. Today, we are laying down the rules and methods for scheduling posts within the Instagram app. And so by the end of this video, you'll know how to schedule posts for free and gain insights on posting so you can avoid business owner burnout, which I know all of us want to avoid this year as much as possible. We'll also share our favorite software for streamlining lining our Instagram process. But before we get into it, welcome to our channel. Hi, I'm Morgan Sutton. And I'm Subi Zimmerman. We are the team behind the Instagram expert, and we've been guiding thousands of businesswomen on the path to actually making sales and growing a business with Instagram. So be sure to connect with us on Instagram at the Instagram expert for daily tips and updates about the app. Trust us. If you implement this feature we're about to share with you today, you will see your business change for the better because you'll be on the path to more work, life balance, which is what we all want, and you can really get ahead of your posting process. So first things first, let's talk about the rules. So to schedule within the Instagram app, which is a free feature, you do need a business or creator account. So if you're on Instagram for business, you should be using one of these professional account types instead of a personal account on Instagram. If you aren't sure if you have your account set up correctly, go to your bio while you're logged in and you'll see a little section that says professional dashboard on your profile page. That shows you that it's a professional account. Yeah, and if you don't see that there, you can change the setting by simply hitting the three lines on the upper right-hand corner of your account and then tap into settings and privacy and you will see switch to professional account there. So with a professional account, you'll be able to schedule posts and reels that use basic post features, okay? You can't at this time of this recording schedule posts in the app that use product tagging, that use collaboration, that are meant to cross post on Facebook or be sponsored or have fundraisers. Those aren't compatible with scheduled content in the app right now. But for most of us who don't use those features often, or really at all, having schedule inside of the app can be a convenient way to get ahead and really work more productively. Exactly. So Sue, you probably remember when this was first announced, we kind of like brushed it aside because our initial tests were pretty glitchy. And honestly, that's kind of normal when Instagram releases a feature for the first time. Yeah. And you know, then we let some time pass and we have seen over time that this feature really does work very successfully and it saves so much time. So obviously we want to share that with you. I've been loving using it. So a few other things to know, as of right now, the way that the app is set up, you can schedule up to 25 posts a day, though I don't expect you to need that, right? <laughs> That's a lot. You know, <laughs> and you can schedule posts up to 75 days in advance, which if you're working that far ahead, congratulations too, okay? <laughs> So those two numbers, they seem pretty reasonable to me. Yeah. And now that we know that rule, let's get you scheduling. So Morgan, can you share your screen to show them how to do that? Okay. So first open the Instagram app and then you'll tap the plus sign at the bottom of the screen in the middle. That's how you start to create a post, right? So if I tap that, that opens up my camera roll and it's where I can start creating. Notice at the bottom of the screen that if I wanted to create a post or a reel at the bottom of the screen, I can toggle between that. So say I wanted to post a reel, I could select a video. This is a reel I recorded earlier. Hit next and you have all the normal editing that you would do with a reel. I'm just gonna hit next through to get to the part where we're scheduling, okay? So the scheduling feature is a little bit hidden, but it is found here when we're doing all of these settings to post. So what I want you to do is change your cover image, add your caption, and then click next and you'll head over to the final settings of your post, right? You'll change your cover image, add your description. And when you're ready to post, you'll scroll down here to advanced settings, the last setting at the bottom of the screen. When I tap that, it opens up to a lot of different cool features. We have an Instagram that are hidden here. One is schedule content, the third one in the middle of the screen. So if I talk that on, it allows me to then select a day up to 75 days away, a time, and based on your device's settings, you can see here on the screen here, and hit done. Notice that it's if it's saved, the blue toggle stayed on and the dates were there. It's so easy. Like 
unbelievable. This has been such a game changer, especially for someone who is new to Instagram or who finds learning new software stressful. Um, this means that you can just learn one app and stay super organized. Yes, exactly. So once you've picked that date, you can just go back to the screen. You'll notice that when you scroll down now at the bottom right hand corner, it says schedule now instead of post. And so you'd be all set to hit that schedule button and it will save inside of your account. We're all looking to save time in our businesses and this is it, especially if you're posting on Instagram consistently for your audience. It's just so easy to do it all in one place and really, if you want to, get a lot done at one sitting and batch your content. I love that you said that, Sue. We're gonna talk to them about batching in just a second. But I also wanna show you that it's super easy to manage schedule posts if you ever need to make changes. All you have to do is go to your Instagram profile. Here we are on where you see your bio. Tap the three lines in the upper right hand corner and then you'll see a spot in the menu, the third one that says scheduled content. When you hit that, you'll be able to uh, view the posts that are scheduled. See, it says the date. This was the one that we used as the example. So there's a caption, but you also can hit the three dots on the right hand side there and delete it or schedule for another time or blast it out right now. So a lot of options. And, and say you want to pu publish a post early or move a post into a different date, you can do it right there all inside of the app with just a few clicks, which is so awesome. Exactly. So while we're on the topic of scheduling, I think it's perfect for us to talk about that magic word that Sue just mentioned, batching. Uh, when we say batching, we simply mean creating multiple of something at one time. Yeah. And I love this analogy that you've said over and over again, just like baking a batch of cookies because like your favorite chocolate chip, it's far more efficient for you to batch while you're in the kitchen. If you're already getting out all the ingredients, you can make so much more at a faster speed if you have all of those ingredients and do it in one sitting from start to finish. Exactly, so this can apply to all the parts of posting too. Like if you put your writing hat on or if you do your film setup or if you put your publishing brain on where you're remembering all the buttons are and all the settings that you wanna use to optimize your post, it's far more effective for your business, for you to do each of those steps to make more than one post or more than one reel while you're in each zone. And so this applies with loading and scheduling inside of the app too. So that's why one pro tip that we really want to emphasize here is block your calendar with time to batch create your post. It really is a game changer to avoid burnout. Now, while this feature is free, which is fantastic, as you grow, you might want a scheduling tool that has more features or supports more social media platforms. And so if you're looking for a recommendation from us, we personally have used Planoly to plan and schedule our content for quite some time. We've been so happy with the tool. So we'll share our partner link below this video if you're interested in checking that out and going for something that is the next level for scheduling. Yeah, they're like the OG in scheduling and I love that we have such a great relationship with them. Okay, so perfect, there you have it. How to use the Instagram scheduling feature now if you need help with what to say on your Instagram post so that you can find and get customers from your presence, your next step is clear. Just check out our next free training. The link is below this video. In the free training, you'll walk away with six things your posts need to attract the right customers faster than ever before, plus so much more. So you definitely want to check that out. Tap the link in the video description. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.